Okay, we're going to start in design space. I already have the design that I did before, and I'm going to show you all of the steps to get everything together here. Now, your first step, I'm just going to move this so you can see. You're going to go to shapes, get a square. You're going to unlock this square. And these are the measurements you want to change them to. Six inches in width. So right up here. And it's 3.5 inches in height. So I'm going to click back on it. You're just going to go to the top. Type in six inches. And 3.5. Now this is going to serve for the piece that we put in the front of the box. And instead of putting the print that I want to do in this into design space and send it to print and cut, what I'm going to do is print the design on a full eight and a half by 11 size cardstock and just have this square cut out on that piece of paper. Now we're going to go to upload. I already have some images that I want to use here, but of course, if you're going to do this design, you're going to go over to the Muchka website and purchase your little astronauts. So what I'm going to start with, you go to upload. Once you download it to your computer, you're going to go and grab it. What I'm going to type in, actually I'm just going to go where I have them saved. So I'll go to desktop. I have them on document. I'm going to change by name so it's easier for me to find it. So I have everything organized into folders. I go into my images. All of the files from that website I have under here. And I have each of them under the name of what they are. So I'm going into astronaut. These are the little rocket ships. I didn't use this in the design, but you can. You can switch up the design any way that you like. So these are the little outer space, the little planets, the stars. You're going to upload everything one by one. So you choose one, go to open. The background is already removed. You can click on complex, continue. We have no work to do, it's fine. Go to apply and continue. Then you can name this image, whatever you want to name it, let's just say we wanted a star. We're going to use a print and cut and then upload. Now, once you do that, it goes right here to your most recent uploads. And you're going to do that for every image that you want to use. And these right here are all of the ones that we are going to use. Now, I'm going to show you how you would make the um, image of the little space what do we call it? Astronaut girl with that missing piece and then use a picture to put inside. You're going to go to upload. You're going to grab your astronaut, whichever one you want to use. Go to open. Click on complex. Continue. Now, the first time, what you're going to do, you're going to save her exactly how she is. Click on print and cut image. Name it if you want to change the name. Click on Upload. Now we're going to pull it in for a second time. Click on the same one that you use. We're going to Upload. Go to Complex. Continue. And now we're going to take the face out of here so that it's just a um, blank. So right now, you just have it on the Erase. You're going to just click. Click into most of the colors that you can, and then we're gonna clean up all of the rest. I just try to get the ones really that's mostly toward the edge. The inside is gonna be easy to clean. Now, even though we're clicking these colors, you see the outlining of where they were, it's still there. So this we're gonna click on, erase, and this is the size. We just move over here and it'll show us the size. We want it a little bit bigger, so we're gonna move this over. A little bit more bigger just to clean up the middle. 
So you're going to click and drag and just delete all of this. Don't go too close to the edge just yet. Just clean up the inside here. Then I take it and go a little to the edge. Make sure you're not really clicking on the gray parts. If you do like this and delete the wrong thing, you can go back and it comes back in. So we're going to clean it up. And then if you're not sure if you did a good job, even if you're kind of sure, you're going to want to click on preview cut image. There we go. You see, and it kind of shows, you see there's a little piece here. So I would just click. Once you click on it, the image is going to come back and delete. Oh, design space changed it, guys. The image does not come back. So we're going to just clean it up. Just make sure, go through. See, now it's just open, empty space. Now it's going to go back to the image. There we go. So I do still see one little dot. We're going to click right there. There we go. Now apply and continue. So we have our girl right here. You're going to... It's loading a little today. You're going to click on your print and cut. Give it a name that you want again. I'll just take that one out so it's different from the other one. We're going to upload. Now you have the empty one and the plain one. Now I just do that just in case you end up making this and you don't really like it and you just want to use the regular girl or you want to put two characters on there with the girl and the empty face. Now... You're going to get your image of the person that you want to upload. And we're going to use an image of myself. So I'm just going to get that. Let's say this time of, I used this one last time. So you're just going to open up the image. Ask your customer to try to give you something with a clear image as possible. The background doesn't matter. Um, design space not have background removal, so we can just take that out. So right here, you're going to click on remove background. Good. So now just this little pieces here, we don't really want because all we want is the face piece that's going to go into the astronaut space. So we're going to click on erase. That size is too small. So you're going to go to eraser size and just make it a little bit bigger right here and just get rid of this. right here. Now you're going to apply. You're going to choose the print and cut. Save it to whatever you need it to be saved as. Upload. All right, so just get all of your characters. Now you're going to choose. We want the face. We want the girl and an extra girl just in case, but I have these two in there for me. So also don't forget to choose all of your characters. Then you're gonna go add to canvas. So now everybody is going to come in here. And it's taking a sweet time. Just remember what I have on the right side of the screen, I already made. There we go. Now they do come in sometimes different sizes. It doesn't matter. You're just going to resize each one. So you're going to click out of them because they came in as a group. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make them really small. We'll decide what size we need after we create our character. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to make a duplicate of this. You're going to move the head behind there. Change the size. Just make sure that there's no clear 
space. You see that white part here? That's clear there. I want the head to cover all of the picture. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger and right here is really good, right? So now you're going to highlight both. Don't worry about the hair or anything coming out. You're going to slice it, remove, removing all these pieces. This is all that we want right here. This is gone, this is gone, and this is gone. We're gonna use this one. So now you see all those extra little pieces here. What you're gonna do, you're gonna come in, get a shape, choose a circle, Of course, design to space is taking its sweet old time. There we go. You're going to unlock it. And then you're going to size it to fit around that space. Right? So you're going to put it right here. You're going to extend it and come down, come in. Make sure you only touch the face and not any of the extra pieces outside here, all of these. So you're going to highlight all of it. Then you're going to go down here and click slice. Take that out, gone. Take this out, it's gone. And that, gone. So we separated this from here. So now we have these two. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this and you're going to arrange it to the back so that the body part is right there. You're going to stretch it just a little bit bigger than what it is and then bring this over and fill that space right in. You're going to highlight both of them together. Go to flatten at the bottom right of the screen here. You're going to flatten and there you have your character that we're going to use. Now I'm going to zoom in just to show you we're designing everything to fit into this square. So what you're going to do, you're going to figure out where you want your characters. What I'm going to do is move these over so they're not distracting, but this is the entire design that we're going to use. We're going to move it over. Now, you're going to make it a little smaller. And remember, this is all on what you choose. I want it to be this size here. So I'm gonna place her here, go back to my upload, grab my second character that I want. Make him a little smaller as well, well, a lot smaller. And place him where you want him to go. I want him to be here. Then each of my planets, I'm just going to size them to where I would like them to go. And you choose the size. I just don't want everybody to be the same size. Let me go to my uploads. When the uploads have the most recent, you go to view all and you can see all that you have uploaded before. So I'm going to grab the sun the other planets that I did not add, the moon and the little star. And I'm going to add to canvas. And you know, design space is taking its time today. There we go. Now, as you can see, everybody is really big. So you can just go in and change the width, let's say two, just for now until we decide what size we're gonna make everyone. Okay. 
All right, there we go. So now I know I want this little baby right over here. I'm going to make it about this size. We have Earth. Let's undo. Remember, when you're doing uh, multiple things like this, you want different sizes just for it to look cute. Now, the stars, I want them to be really small. I'm going to use more of them, but as I add the um, offset to them, that's when I'm going to multiply them. Now we have our moon, which I haven't really decided where I was going to put it, but that's the size it's going to be. Um, in the design, I didn't originally use this one, but if you want to, you definitely can. And we have our sun that's going to go at the top, and I'm going to leave it to about two inches. Let me just double check for you guys. What was my original size? I'm gonna ungroup it. About 1.7. Let's go down a little bit. That's good. All right, so now we have to, we're going to make our layers for each one of these, and then we're gonna go into adding a name at the top. So first thing I'm gonna do is create, because right here you see these little horns on him it's really thin and it might be a little difficult to cut so what I'm going to do I'm going to add an offset to this character bring it much smaller I want it like really tight let's try 0 0.75 I'm gonna do a little smaller than that let's try 0.50 right there that's good so you're gonna click apply and you see the black layer and because this is a print and cut image your offset is originally a print and cut we're going to change the color to white and then those two layers which right over here the white layer that we just created I'm gonna hold shift and just click on the astronaut together and at the bottom right I'm gonna go to flatten so now this is going to print like this with that white offset on it and it makes it a little thicker so it's less likely to tear. Now with this image I'm going to go again to offset. I want it to be a little bigger. Let's, yeah 0 0.83 works good for me. Press OK. Now this one you're going to change it to a basic cut then also keep it the color. So my plan was to use a silver, but my um, my silver metallic paper I ran out of, so I have this iridescent pattern one, kind of. I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna leave this gray, and I know I'm gonna cut on that iridescent paper. We're gonna go back again and put an offset on that new offset. Press apply, and because it was an offset on a cut image, it's gonna be a cut offset as well. Change the color to whatever color you're going to use. I had it on red originally and then I changed my mind as I cut and did pink. So we'll keep it that color. Now what you want to do is move everything over, highlight the image with all of its offsets and group it together. So now when we move it around, it's moving all together. So we put it back here. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. The height I had it to about 2.82. So we're going to change the height 2.82. And that's the size. You're going to repeat the same process. Go to an offset. Make sure that first offset is a little closer. I think I did it at 0 0.050. Mm -mm, it didn't take. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't know why. It is not moving. Okay, there we go. The offset wanted to play with me today. Five zero.
me click apply, see how that goes. Okay, we're gonna change it to white. Again, again, sorry guys. You're going to go over here where the white is highlighted, hold shift and click on your print and cut image and you're going to flatten those two. Now you're going back to offset, press OK. You're going to change this to a basic cut because we want it to cut. I'm keeping it gray because that's the color that I want. Another offset, press apply, and then you change that one to the color that you're going to print it. Now don't forget we're going to highlight all of them together, group it, and the height that I have for this one was 2.77. So we're going to change that height to 2.77. There we go. See, let me just move him back a little. Now, each of these you're going to give an offset to. I wanted to cut mine in white shimmer paper, so I'm changing it to white. And make sure you change it from a print and cut to a basic cut. Change it first because obviously the color changes. Then, what you want to do is you want to highlight the two of them just like you did and just group it. So anytime we're moving them around, they're going to move with their offset. So offset again, apply, change it to a basic cut and then change it to the color you want. Come back on the right here to the panel, group them together. So we're going to do the same with every planet that we have listed here. Now the size of these, basically it's whatever you want. However you want it to look is the size you're going to give them. But I will give you the exact sizing that I did for mine. Group. All right, so the purple, that's the measurement, 1.635. The red, 1.512. The green, 1.367. 1.95 in height. And remember, you can pause these videos and check everything all over again. So that's the sizes. And then once I um, cut everything out, I'm going to just layer them how I want them to look. So now we're going to go over to the moon. Repeat the same offset process. I'm going to change it to a cut and change it to white. That same one, not a range, I'm going to do another offset and change that to the gray. Highlight it, group it together. Same process for the sun. Apply. another highlight, another offset, and this one is going to be gray. So when you do an offset, depending on what you're putting the offset on is the type of file the offset is going to be. So if you're doing a print and cut, your offset is going to automatically say print and cut, so that's why we had to change them. When you do an offset on just a cut, same thing, it's going to be a cut. So I'm just going to highlight these together just to show you the size that I did. So for height for the sun, I did 2.226. So we're going to get ours and change the height to 2.226. As for the moon, the height is 1.574. So we go to height, 1.574. All right, so now with our little stars, I left this one here. I wanted to give everybody else their offset because we're going to give offsets and then multiply them. So you're going to do the first offset. I'll make it a little smaller because this is a small file. Let me see if it'll allow me this time to do 50. 
it doesn't look like it changed much there we go all right so we're going to change that to a cut file and change the color to white then again we're going to click back on that offset do another one apply and we're going to change this color to one of these matching colors so we're going to do the red first so what i'm going to do here i'm going to highlight those three which are, hold on, let me find this on my side panel. So we're gonna have that one. You're gonna hold shift, highlight the white and the red. You're going to group them together. There you go. Let me check the size that I did it, 0.68 in height. So we're gonna change this height to 0.68. There we go. Now you're going to make a duplicate. You could either go back here, Sorry guys. Yeah, top here, duplicate. Or you can right click and the menu comes up and make a duplicate. There we go. And we're gonna change the back layer. When it's highlighted, Design Space is really acting crazy today. Click on the one we're using, head over to the panel, and you're gonna change this color to blue. So now we have these two. I'm going to duplicate three more times. So you want four of each color. And what I did was I just lined them up how I would want them on every other one. I moved the wrong thing, guys. The red here, another blue here. So when you do cut it out, you can still move it wherever you want it to be. Last but not least, what we're going to do is type in the name. I use Alex in all cap. And this, you see the H in bold plane? Hope I pronounced that right, guys. So I use that. What you're going to do, make it a little bigger so you can see better. I'll just zoom in so we can see. Never have, if you're going to make an offset, don't have it here because when you click on offset, you see it's kind of blocking. You want to be able to see everything. So we're just going to bring it down, click on offset, and click apply. So the letters I wanted in white, the next one in black, we do another offset. And... As you can see here, I did four layers. Sorry guys, five layers. You can do how many you want. You want six layers, keep going. Do another offset, apply. Another offset, apply. And you just keep doing that. What you wanna do, you're going to change the colors here so you know what to cut it on. So we have the third layer. We're gonna do a blue. The next layer, we're gonna do the white silver, next layer, red. See that? And you can change it up. Actually, no. Instead of another white, I did that silver. You're gonna highlight all of it. You can right click and group it together. And there we go. Now that top piece is about six inches. So what I do with the width, I try to have it about five inches. Five by two, this goes a little over, but it won't look too bad. But if you don't want it to go a little over, you can just unlock and make this a little bit shorter and there you have it so this will be all of our pieces then we're going to save you want to save your project to whatever name you want it to be then we're going to send to cut choose your machine you're sending it to what i'm going to do i'm just going to take out some of these now this is not a step that you're doing because i have two projects in here this is why i'm taking this out this is not for you you have your save project you're going to name it this would be your save project then we're going to send to make it now because i'm using the explore 3 the machine is asking me if i want to use a mat without a mat or multiple ways i'm putting everything on a mat and done and i just want to show you remember the square that we had here 
This is going to cut on your printed paper. Now you see each layer. Um, I use eight and a half by 11 cardstock for every one. So I'm just going to change them to make sure they cut correctly on the pages. So let's go quickly and I will show you how we're going to cut this piece on here. I print my design for the front. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your image. So I'm using this one right here. You can go on Etsy and basically buy your um, digital paper and I'll show you that too. So I'm opening it up. I'm going to go to File, Print. Now this is the um, computer printer that I'm sending it to. I just choose media and quality. I send it to the back of my printer with a glitter cardstock. I choose heavyweight paper. Slide it over to best and then I send it to print. So you're going to see what that looks like when I print it out. And let me quickly just show you how you can purchase your digital um, paper. So we're going to go over to Etsy real quickly and I'll show you. So we're just going to type in Galaxy digital paper. Now these are all that's available. Find the ones you like. Let's say we like this one. If you're not sure what they look like, they usually have pictures of each page. These are really pretty. So you purchase them and just download them to your computer. And oh, this is beautiful. And then just send it to print like I just showed you. And that's it. So now that's going to print out. I'm going to go back here. You have each of them changed to eight and a half by 11 with your print page. You see it's going to print with that black for the registration marks. You're just going to go to, hold on, continue, send to printer. You click on use system dialog box and that can, that's what's going to bring up your print settings. You're going to go to print. Then you're going to change it to where you're sending it. I send it to the rear feeder with that thick paper. If you don't have a printer with a rear feeder, then you cannot most likely print from thick cardstock or glitter cardstock. I choose heavyweight paper. For it to print on, slide it over and print. Also, if you want to, you can actually print these guys on glitter, the glitter paper also. I did not for the project, but I printed mine on glossy photo paper from Staples. So you're going to press print and then that's it. Now we're going to head over to do placing it on the mat. You don't necessarily have to see it cut and then we're going to go to assembly. Once you print it on your glitter cardstock, this is how it's going to look. So we're just going to place it on the mat and then focus our square in whichever area that we want it to cut. If we want it more of this design or more of something down here. I'm gonna go with more of the top half here because I like the skyline in my design. So now we have our mat. As you can see, this is a heavily used mat. I'm going to just line it up. Since my mat isn't a brand new mat, I use my brayer to just press it down a little harder so it doesn't budge when I load it into the machine. And we're gonna send each of them to cut each layer. Then we're going to assemble. Now this next paper was a last minute decision. 
because I wanted to use this silver metallic mirror cardstock, but I ran out. So I'm going to use this one. Found it in Michael's. Those are like ear pockets popping in there. Maybe I had this paper too long. I'm going to try to roll it out. And I'm going to replace this instead of the silver um, metallics, which I don't have. But mixing um, textures and paper is what make your product stand out instead of all just card, plain cardstock. Now for the Galaxy paper, you want to line it up where you put your square to cut. So I put mine in this corner here because I like this area more than anything. And feed it into the machine. And this is the piece that I got. And I specifically wanted that little area. So just make sure you choose the area that you like. I'm not gonna show all of the other cutting because we already know it's the same thing, line it up cut. Then we're gonna get to showing all the pieces that cut and assembly. I just wanted to add that the cardstock I'm using for black is not regular black. This is a mirror black from Cardstock Warehouse. Now for your print and cut page, you're going to line it up. And feed it into the machine your machine is going to read those black registration lines and then cut your characters okay so now we have all of our layers cut over here is all of the print and cut the white glitter the blue the iridescent the pink and the one black so the first thing you're going to do is give yourself some space to assemble your layers first before you put any adhesive, glue dots, or anything like that. So you wanna make sure you have everybody where they're gonna go. So you know you won't be making any mistakes. Hold on. And this way you don't end up gluing something the wrong spot and then it has to be removed. So, going to just lay everyone on top of each other and then put it to the side. And you're going to repeat the process with everything. Now with the white glitter that we have, it was the only backdrop on these. So you just wanna make sure. And there's a few size circles. So we wanna make sure we have the right ones. Now this is the biggest one, so we know this is this one. This one looks a little larger, so that'll be this one and that one. So I have rushed before. and ended up with the wrong things. So you wanna make sure. And now our little stars. These are the third layer, they're all the same. So I'm just going to push them to the side and work on our little people here. And there goes our little iridescent piece. Now you see different types of paper. Oh, I actually chose the right ones. It's 
see? This is why it's good to line up because I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on, there we go. There we go. This goes with this. Our sun is going to have this one behind it. And so will our moon. And now we're going to start putting everybody together. So you can use this pack comes with this size and a larger size in Michael's. This is what the larger size looks like. This one I purchased. It was a long roll from Hobby Lobby. Whichever one is perfectly fine. You just want to use the size that's best to your product. Also have a scissors at hand so that we can cut them in half when they're too small. Like we're right here in the feet, if it can't fit, I will cut one in half. So always start with your top layer and then work your way down. Don't mind my little struggle with peeling. I recently took off my nails and they're like paper. Okay, so look. Now you lay them, kind of center it where it needs to be and then press it down. Then we're gonna flip over. And do the same here. gonna put well you can put the ones here what you can do just don't peel off this yet until we're ready to layer it right on top of the box so we're just going to repeat Just gonna do one big one in the center of this. Try to line that up good. There we go. And with this, I'll do two. You just determine where you want it. I just don't like it to be any areas that's kind of sunken in and you can see it. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, don't press down. I didn't like that. Let's try it again. There we go. Forgot to put them on the back so they're ready. Once we have the box ready to go. I'm gonna do the same here and just one, two, and three. Now this is a little smaller, so we'll use the smaller sizes.
You want to make sure it's inside so you're not seeing it when you flip it over. I'm not going to put any on these yet because I haven't really decided where I'm placing them on the box because they're going to kind of stack up on top of each other. So I just, some of them might not be flat and might need a double, but I'll explain that when putting them all together. And now our little babies they look so cute
And now for the name, just like the others, you wanna just start with the top layer first. I try to get it on each of the edges and it's not wasting if you just try to put one like in the middle the the ends the edges they're gonna look like floppy like they're kind of hanging around as the ones the sizes get bigger you can kind of space it out with larger foam squares. As you see, it's a lot of work, but it's definitely well worth it because it looks amazing when you're done. So now you see it's larger. You don't need those small pieces, so you can put a big one in the center and it won't be that bad. This, I'm gonna put it at the bottom and probably I'll have a square. This could, let me see if this could fit, yeah. Try to get it centered the best way that you can. And these you can always pick up. I'm gonna flip them over. This holographic, when it's behind the blue, it gives off more than more of a blue color, I see. There you go. So now that we have all of our pieces, all glued together. We're gonna grab our box and start assembling. So first I'm gonna show you how I get the exact size for the top piece. So I always have a sacrificial box. See the other side, it's already gone here. Same is going to happen here. I'm just going to bend it. And then we're going to cut this off. Try to go as along the line as best as you can. And then we're cutting that piece off also. So we really need this. Now that's why it's good to remember what brand you bought so that you don't have to continually use one. I never do, I always end up. So this is the cardstock that I want for the top. I usually like to add either a metallic, glitter, something really nice. 
you're gonna flip it over now this is one that kind of sheds i found it at hobby lobby you're going to take your sacrifice one and you're flipping it over making sure they're both facing forward so when you cut it you know you cut it to the exact shape go in the corner as much as you can so that when you're doing multiple boxes you can fit as much on here going to trace that out of course I budged but line it right back up now you see it's a little off what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here and cut straight across so with this job I got a larger pair of scissors This is a little higher, so I'm gonna cut along here and keep going very sloppily because I'm gonna come back from this end to cut. Just my preference because I cut it a little sloppy and I know that line is supposed to be straight. So what you can do to actually avoid that, when you cut this and you notice a little, it's a little off, trim it where it's a little slightly off, which was this edge here. And just make sure it's straight before you trace. If you wanna be safe, that would have been better. But it's always good to see more than one way or if something goes a little wrong, how you would handle it. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna keep going and just trim straight across. If you have a paper trimmer, lining that up on a paper trimmer and taking it completely off will be good too. So we're going to now grab our box that we're going to use. And you see that? That goes right here. I feel like I can make that a little bit straighter, but I'm not gonna stress it because this part, I don't want it flat. I actually, we're gonna put it on the foam circle so it can stand up a little so you won't be seeing it 100%. So now here, let's see if the glue gun is ready. Yes, it is. You're just gonna use your trusty glue gun. I do all around the edges just to make sure it stay flat. A little in the middle of the support. Line that up, remember it's a glue gun so you can't pick up once you drop it down that is it now for this part I want it I like it this way so what I'm going to do is grab my foam squares where did I put the larger ones Now, remember, this needs to be sturdy because we're about to put a lot on it. Or if you prefer to just have this flat, you can just glue it flat onto your gable box. Um, I usually decide as I go. So as I'm designing whatever direction the wind blows me, I don't have a specific formula on how I do it. I just go as I, as I'm designing and decorating, I just des decide if I want it flat or I want to put the foam squares on there. So we're going to line it up. This is what we have so far. 
Now, we're going to first, this is where the Alex is going to be. He fit a little right there. So what I'm going to do is assemble my box so that I can see exactly how it needs to be. And right here is where it would go. Now, when you put foam squares on here and you're gluing, you're going to be putting foam squares onto glitter cardstock. You're going to have to also add a little glue from the glue gun. Because the glitter is only going to get on the sticky parts and make it not that much sticky. So what you're going to do is dab some glue from the glue gun onto that. I'm going to try to make sure it's centered. And place it right there. And now for the bottom, we can flatten it back and start figuring out where we want everyone to go. So the first thing you're going to do, always make sure nothing is past the bottom because then your box won't stand up when the customer is ready to assemble. So you always want to make sure from the bottom, it's a little bit above. Anywhere else, it can stick out through the sides and here. All of this is perfectly fine. And... Let's see. I shouldn't have put the guys on here either, anybody. Just to make sure where we want to line it up. Then all of our little planets, see how they kind of go on top of each other? So if this goes here, I'm going to end up gluing this to this and then foam squares is going to be under it. If I decide to pile them up like that or have them all on their own, which I don't like. I actually like the idea of maybe you even going up here. We don't know. So with this also, if you're wondering how I decide, I just play with it when I'm designing. Same thing. So we're going to, I know that I want earth to be like showing here so we're going to put that again this is a little bit of glitter this one it's not a shedding um glitter but you want to be safe than sorry and glue him there now this one I think I'm going to leave this one flat and just glue it shove him under a little bit see that so they're layered I love the layered look now this one is gonna go like this where it's a little bit above them so what I'm gonna do See if I like it. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put another one on top of this one. So it can be a little higher. See that? I'm going to add some glue. here that looks good and then he could be piled in so you see how this piece kind of slides in 
and I'm just going to put a foam on the outer side and just slip this side with some glue on it right in there. Like that, so it's gonna go in. This part is going to be laying on there and this outer part, it's what's going to be on the actual box. So we're going to glue. And then press that down. Look at that, look at them. And then I think I'm gonna put this right down here. Yeah. So like, right here. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. But I think what I'm going to do is add two again. So it's a little higher. Right here, peel it off, put our glue. And slide him right there. Now next I'm going to do our little astronauts. First, I think I'm gonna do it a little, I like it sideways, so let me make sure all of his stickies fit here. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to peel these off, put our glue, And then a little character, me, we're going to stick this way. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm going to do this one a little higher. So we're gonna put a second layer on top. Remember when you're gluing onto this glitter paper, you're gonna need to use the glue gun with the foam circles. And now we have our little stars that we're just gonna place with their face up all around. And remember, it's like freestyling. Wherever you wanna put it is the best place. You don't want anything too cookie cutter. Don't do anything you saw someone do before. Change it up, move it around. Unless you have a specific design your customer wants, have fun. Or it's best to have fun when you're first creating it so when your customer sees it, they like it, in your style. Should I put him here? Yeah, I'll stick you right there. You look like you, okay. I'm loving it already. I'm about to peel off the wrong end. Pay attention. Don't be like me, guys. Another one here. I do want one right on the edge here. And then we have two more here. And also, if you wanted to do the color behind them, a different piece, you know, whatever you think looks good is what you do. Just make sure they're facing up and also don't go below that because remember, your box won't stand up. Look at that. Look at it. 
So we're going to just assemble it one more time. Look at that cutie. And then I want to put the moon right here on the top. So this is one where I think we're just going to take the smaller ones off because I'm not placing, placing it flat on the box. And because it's on that top piece, I'm going to put glue even though it's not glitter just to reinforce it some because that's where people are going to grab the box, you know? Oh, guys, hold on a minute. I'm not even going to do that. Now I have to change it all up. I just realized that is not where I wanted to put the moon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the moon right here. Does it mess up the person's name? No, it doesn't. And this is where freestyling comes in. Can you still see the name good? I can. I like that. I forgot about my sun. The sun is what we're putting up here. It wasn't the plan for the moon, see? All right, so what we're going to do, I did put three, which obviously is too much because it's not going on the top. So I'm going to remove them and put just one in the center. So this is here, put it in the center here add my glue and there we have it look at our baby so I know what a lot of people usually ask is with all of this work what is something you would charge for something like this and when you're doing this much detail it should be I would say eight to $10 per box. If your customer does not wanna pay that much, you can also just, you see that square piece in the background, flatten these images on there and do one print and cut and put it on there and just give them a less expensive option. But if they want you to use all this specialty paper and all these kind of things, you should not be going below $8. And sometimes people will charge 12 to 15 for some of these boxes. So I would say factor in the different type of papers you're using to choose your price. And there goes our baby. We're gonna do a zoom in of it all around. Also, if you decide you wanted to do more here, it'll be the same, measure the square and just fully decorate it like you would decorate the front of this one. I just wanted to get all of the details nice and close. Look at how cute that is. 